What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, Punch of Crunch Army. Where you at? You know, it's well known by now that structure is one of the most important aspects of improving at Fortnite. You know, having consistent routines and practice methods that you can use to help you improve is extremely helpful when you're trying to progress faster. And that's why, guys, in today's video, we're going to be showing you the fastest way to get better at editing. We're going to be showing you guys some really cool training routines, the best settings for editing, and some really cool tricks that you can go from being an editor like this to like this. These are tips, man, that we learned from some of the best editors like LD and Raider 464. So make sure to stick around for the entire video. Also, this week, we're going to be running a giveaway for a free VOD review from a real pro player. That's right, guys. Your chance to get one-on-one -on -one live advice from the pros for free. It is crazy. All right. To enter this, listen up. Head on over to our community Discord and check out the YouTube giveaways channel. To enter the giveaway, all you got to do is make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, sign up for ProGuides.com as a free user, and react to the party hat emoji that the bot posted on Discord. For more details, check out the Discord link in the description. So the first critical element to improving your editing is to make sure you're editing in the most efficient way as possible, which is where your crosshair placement comes into play. Crosshair placement, okay, is basically exactly what it sounds like, placing your crosshair in a good spot before, during, and after your edit. Mastering your crosshair placement, <laughs> it's going to prove insanely helpful for both speed and efficiency. The first part of crosshair placement happens before you edit, and luckily this is pretty simple. Before you edit, simply just set up your crosshair near or on the tile you're going to start your edit on. And so when you edit, you're already going to be set on that point and just ready to do the edit instantly. After that, during your edit, focus on moving as efficiently as possible, so do whatever motion requires the least actual movement of your crosshair. From here, and I mean like right here, you can confirm the edit, and there you go. That's an edit with great crosshair placement. Okay, so if you watch Raider's gameplay, you're going to notice he always does this, and uh, who better to take editing advice from somebody that's probably like the fastest editor in the world. The next thing that we're going to touch on is the most optimal settings for you guys to edit as fast as possible. Starting off, you guys have three options for your editing, double or triple binds, confirm edit on release, or the good old single edit bind. Now, here's what I think, man. I strongly recommend you mouse and keyboard players use confirm edit on release or do double edit binds like Raider does if you're interested, which you can just do by setting two different binds on your keyboard and your mouse to edit and confirm edit. Single binds can still work, but they're far less efficient. All right, guys, so for controller, the absolute best option is double edit binds. There's no arguing with this at all. It's simply the best option, all right? All you got to do is set one bind on your controller to open your edit, another bind to select the edit, usually R2 for PS4 and RT for Xbox, and then set a different bind to confirm. This setting is undoubtedly the best for a controller, and it's just a much better alternative to a single bind or, you know, even confirm edit on release. So if you're on controller, definitely set this baby up. In terms of sensitivity, all right, generally for both platforms, you could just work with really any sensitivity. But for the most optimal results, you're going to want to pick a sensitivity that allows you to flick and move your cursor faster, but also, you know, not too fast where it messes with your accuracy. This is ultimately up to your comfort, but a lot of players have had success with 40% sensitivity and 2x for editing on controller and around 80 EDPI on mouse and keyboard, you know, when it comes to maximizing their editing speed. The fourth and final thing we're going to briefly touch on, guys, is repetition. Now, before we give you the routines to master your editing, all right, I just want to tell you all to take note that repetition is the most critical part here. Okay, so if you practice your editing on a daily basis, all right, and practice efficiently using repetition, you're going to improve at a consistent pace and it's going to get you better and better. So just take a mental note that repetition is absolutely critical. And if you follow these routines on a daily basis, then I guarantee your edits are going to improve. No if, ands, or buts about it, all right? All right, guys, so before we get into the routines, I just want to remind you that you got to check out ProGuides.com as soon as possible. We've got so much stuff on our website from courses to on-demand coaching from pro players, man, to even our new VOD review feature where a pro can go over your gameplay and just help you spot mistakes. So if you want to rank up faster and stop wasting time being stuck at the same level, bro, go to ProGuides.com. All right. 
All right, so our first routine is going to be a short and sweet one. All right, this routine is best for those, you know, of you who play casually or maybe you know, only have time to play for just like one or two hours and you want to make the most out of your time. This routine is going to be 15 minutes long and super easy. Just start off. You're going to want to hop into Raider Box Fight Practice Map V2 7562-1598-0199 and just grind out as many edits as possible. Do this for about five minutes, all right, which should be enough to really get you warmed up and get you some solid practice, man. Then hop into Orange Guys Edit Map 9672-0800-1824 and just grind out some drills here as well. This map is literally perfect for grinding out pure speed and practicing with repetition. All right, so you got to start on the easier settings, right, and just work your way up as you improve. Finally, for the last five minutes of your routine, simply just hop into your own creative world and just grind out any editing drills that you struggle with. As we said earlier, repetition is absolutely crucial. So taking some time to focus specifically on what you struggle with is going to benefit you a whole lot. All right, so for those of you who have a bit more time on your hands, this 30 minute routine is gonna be amazing for improving your edits and you're gonna see improvement at a rapid pace if you do it. The first thing that we're gonna be doing in this routine is the same as the 15 minute one, which is five minutes of Raider Box Fight Practice Map V2, 7562-1598-0199. After that, we're gonna be hopping into Orange Guys Edit Map 9672-0800-1824, which again, all right, is the same map that we showed last time, which we're gonna be practicing for the same reasons. Do these maps, guys, for 10 minutes each so you can just really grind out a solid amount of practice. After that, we're gonna be adding a pretty unique drill using the movement modulators which are available in creative simply just set up a movement modulator on fast speed on your island step on it and then you're going to be grinding out edit drills using that using the speed pads is extremely effective because it essentially gives your brain a new stimulus to work with this is one of the most effective ways to break through skill plateaus by adding a new sort of stimulus into your practice. And this is gonna work wonders for you guys, all right? Especially those of you who are already solid editors. Run this for like five minutes and then do five minutes of normal edit practice afterwards. You'll pretty much, you know, instantly notice how much smoother it feels. Take this time to focus on whatever you're struggling with and really focus on repetition with whatever techniques that you decide to practice. All right, going back to normal speed, your edits should definitely feel a lot smoother and give it some time, I guarantee it's going to start translating into your gameplay as well. And that's it for the 15 to 30 minute routines. Guys, look, I guarantee, man, if you select one of these routines and you do it on a daily basis, whew, your editing speed is going to blast up into the stars, man. With these routines, you know, we try to emphasize using new sorts of practice stimulus, which should help wire your brain into that learning mindset. With things like Orange Guys packed in edits, speed pads, and things of that nature, man, you're going to be great. But overall, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. By using these routines and adjusting them to your strengths and weaknesses, I guarantee that you're going to start seeing improvement within only a few days, man. Pick whichever one that you prefer, adjust it to your liking if you feel like doing so, and just stick with it. Then the results are going to speak for themselves. If there's one piece of advice that I want to leave you guys with, all right, is to stay consistent. Yeah, man, your motivation guy to stay consistent. That's absolutely the fastest way to see progress. And if you do these every single day, you're going to see consistent improvement. It's going to be so much faster than just grinding out a crazy session once in a while all right guys once again this is your motivation guy that's right your friend the one and only keith allen hope you guys enjoyed the video today man make sure to drop a like on it subscribe and join the bunch of crunch army help us get to you know our 1 million mark for subscribers man also make sure to check out proguys.com for exclusive coaching routines and courses straight from the pros look we got all the best stuff over here man so don't miss out and uh you know last thing comment down below what you guys want to see on the next vid that we're going to do you know we read all your comments so feel free to leave your thoughts down there and uh keep eating that bunch of crunch and let's get this going